So in the last few days, I wanted to record a video called Five Tricks You Gotta Learn This Summer. But unfortunately, and as always, the wind died when I packed out my camera. So I was really underpowered with my 13 meter dice. So I was like, fuck, okay, what can I do now? And I wanted to quit filming, but my friends cheered me up so hard that I came up with another idea. So today we're gonna talk about five different light wind tricks that work almost always. So let's dive in. Trick number one is the advanced pop to toe side with different grabs added to it. So the basic pop is a trick almost everybody can do. And if you want to do an advanced one with different grabs, the basic pop gets into a really, really stylish trick. In the advanced pop, you're allowed to use your kite a little bit to gain some extra hang time to just get some different grabs. And in terms of grabs, the more the better. Try different grabs, try, try two or three grabs just before you land toe side to make this pop even cooler. To make it even stylisher, try to pop extremely hard out of the water to make it a little bit more extreme. And while grabbing your board in this normal pop, um, keep in mind that you keep body tension because you don't want to rotate or you don't want to crash into the water. So keep in mind to keep your body extra tensioned at this moment. And yeah, land toe side for extra coolness and maybe you can even make a transition out of it and you're done. Advanced pop, which is really stylish in light wind days. Second one is a basic front wall to blind. If you're able to do a normal front wall and you're able to ride blind, this trick is the one you should learn. Because it's actually quite simple. So you initiate a basic front wall, not too high, not too fast, not too extreme, without grabs at first. And you just, when you're about to land, when you're right above the water, you just do this extra 180 rotation into your blind position. So keep in mind, when you're landing blind, look at your back foot, your new back foot, um, while landing blind. This will help you a lot with your body position. And with always, when you're landing blind, the later you rotate into blind, the better because it gets a lot easier. And if you want extra style to this trick, try to rotate your bar around your body when you land it blind to get into a toe side position as well. You can see it in this video. This is a, co a really cool way to make a transition out of it or just to be extra stylish because it's just great to swing the bar around you and uh, get this nice feeling of doing something crazy. You know what I mean, yeah. Talking about spinning the bar and landing blind, here's a trick you won't see so often on the water. So when you're doing a back wheel to toe side or something else to toe side, just try to ride a little bit more downwind to get a little bit of slack in the lines and just swing your bar around you to get into a blind position. And when you're in a blind position, keep in mind, look at your back foot to make it easier and yeah, you're riding blind. And as you can see, I have to practice this trick a little bit more, so do you. Let's go on to the next one. If you're good in doing one-footers and maybe even backward one-footers, you can start trying the backward transition with a one-footer on lighter days. Because you won't get so much height and so much hang time in lighter days, it's really important that you can get your foot out of your strap and, and in it again really, really fast. So practice this at first. But when you can do it, add a one footer to your simple, basic, not so high back wheel transition will be a really, really cool way where you can impress a lot of people because it's actually not so easy to get it this fast. I just love this trick because it just adds some extra salt to your trick. It's just make this whole thing you're doing a little bit more spicy. It's great. And let's go on to the next one. Did you ever saw your favorite pro rider sliding above reeds or hovering above the beach and getting yanked into the water a few moments later? That's a floating back wheel kite loop and it's really cool to learn this trick and you can even do it on light wind days um, because yeah, you can do such nice Instagram videos as the pro riders do 
as well. And if you want a really detailed tutorial about this trick, I made a video a few weeks ago called, I think, three back wheel transitions you have to try, something like this. And yeah, there I'm explaining this trick. It's a really cool one. Try to check out this video. I will link it here or here. I'm not sure. It's like a mirror. And yeah, try it out. Alright, that's it guys, that was a really short video for Trick Tuesday, I hope I helped you to get the most out of your light wind days, thank you for watching, see you next Tuesday.